Only reminder to make it count is what made a difference in the life of Special Spencer Duncan. The 21-year-old was serving in Afghanistan when the Chinook helicopter he was on was shot down by the Taliban. Beth Vaughn spoke with Duncan's family today. Beth? Well, Spencer Duncan loved country music, barbecue, and the Oklahoma Sooners. But above all else, this Olathe native loved his family and his country. Today, the face of this grieving mother told a whole series of stories. But these were the eyes the day Megan Duncan sent her oldest son to boot camp. That was the day that he stepped away from being my little baby boy and being a man. Proud, her boy, specialist Spencer Duncan, had achieved his dream. It was his life and his passion to be doing what he was doing. The Olathe native enlisted as an Army reservist three years ago. Stateside, he spent much of his time at this hangar with a fleet of Chinook helicopters. But that all changed when he deployed to Afghanistan in May. Then, three months later, Spencer was killed in combat. His father, now thankful for the group of brothers Spencer was traveling with. To us, personally, uh, there were no rank on the plane, on the helicopter. There, there was no military branches on the helicopter. These were all men. Uh, serving together. 30 Americans died that day in the single deadliest incident in the war's history. Of American heroes who have given their lives for our freedom. Make it count, a phrase Dale Duncan said to all three of his sons daily. Just days before the crash, he was able to share that sentiment with Spencer one last time. That was one of the last things that Dale said to Spencer, and we really feel like he made it count. And so is Spencer's brother, who's currently in Marine Corps boot camp, following in the footsteps of his older sibling who sacrificed his life for freedom. You can honor Specialist Duncan tomorrow by lining the streets of Olathe as his body is returned to the Kansas City area. For specifics on where to be and when, log on to our website, NBCActionNews.com. Just look under local news. Beth Vaughn, NBC Action News.